The Enterprise refit introduced in the motion picture is an undeniably popular design, with many even considering it to be the ideal Enterprise. Apart from its increased detail and reshaped curves, the design makes a few fundamental changes to the shape of the ship, namely its more narrow nacelles and its angled nacelle struts. The swept struts are clearly meant to convey a more elegant and aerodynamic shape to the ship, but from a real-world engineering standpoint, what sort of functional purpose would these angled struts struts really serve. And you could come up with all sorts of technobabble jargon to justify it, but there's a really clear reason for this and we can directly observe it in the film itself. See if we compare the profiles of both the original and the refit enterprises, we can see that the nacelles rest at virtually the same position relative to the other components of the ship, but the 90 degree struts of the original ship clearly interfere and dictate the maximum size of the shuttle bay. Assuming that these struts enter the hull in more than the most superficial way, and some even consider that they meet in the center of the hull, there's no way that the shuttle bay could extend much further beyond them. But on the refit, we have a different story. If we align these by the shuttle bay doors, the base of the struts has been moved forward by over 50 feet, and this design takes advantage of the extra space by expanding the hangar pretty dramatically. There's an added benefit of moving the struts up like this too, and that's the fact that the struts now enter the hull at a thicker point, allowing more room for internal equipment here. And of course, the design capitalizes on this further by introducing yet another extension to the hangar facilities, elevators that carry shuttles up from a lower bay, which the original Enterprise arguably had, but the refit's expanded facilities allow more space to be devoted to both the flight deck and the elevators. So these angled struts aren't just a cosmetic feature. They very directly and very practically influence the aft end of the secondary hull. And the film makes sure to show us this impressive expansive interior, which makes me think that the consequently larger shuttle hangar was no accident. But that's really just a quick random thought I had while pondering the design of the refit. What do you think? Are there other considerations for the angled struts? Or what other functional improvements do you notice in the refit design? Let me know. If you like hearing me talk about Star Trek design, let me know that too, and maybe I'll make some more videos on the topic. I already have another video here that you might like to check out where I discuss the original Enterprise design. And with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.